Greetings and thank you for tuning in to How Do I Do This videos. Um, again, thank you for joining me. Please follow along the videos if you haven't already covered my earlier series and please go in and look at my Windows Basic series because um, in this series we're just going to cover tools and what you can do within the MS Paint program. I'm probably going to do a series to follow on within the Paint.net program to follow on and teach you some more advanced skills and to also get you more comfortable with Windows. Now the primary goal and the primary function of these lessons are not to teach you how to be a painter. I'm not going to make you an artist. I'm simply going to allow you to be a little more creative and also learn the tools that you need to apply to Windows. Now, in case you haven't figured it out, Windows is a very nice operating system, but it's a program. MS Paint is a program that they include with most of the versions of Windows that are out there today. A few of the earlier versions don't have it. However, um, you can get a follow-on version in Paint.net at the website. Um, it is slightly different and it's laid out different, but I would strongly recommend you, you you learn to use the MS Paint program first because if you don't have a good grasp of the basic tools that you're going to be using in more advanced programs, you're going to be as lost as a baby in the woods. There's a lot of tools and a lot of functionality within the Paint program, a lot of which people don't even begin to know at the versatility and the flexibility that the basic MS Paint program will allow you. Um, people look at it and they say, well, I can draw stri stick figures and I can do a couple things in it and I can draw this or that or put circles down. Trust me, you can do so much more with this program if you just learn the basic tools and a few techniques that follow along. None of the techniques that I'm going to be covering are going to be that difficult. As a matter of fact, I've already posted some videos on making cutouts and things like that. If you're not sure about what this program is capable of, go take a look at my other videos and you will find that there's a myriad of things that you can do within this basic program. Up to this point, everything I've done in all my videos has been done through nothing more than the MS, um, MS Paint the um, basic paint program in Windows. Um, Windows Movie Maker, one of the earlier versions, I believe it was 2.0 and Windows Movie Maker 2.5, which is free from Microsoft. And the Paint.net program, which is going to be probably the next series I do. Um, other than that, I use a program from Debut for capturing my videos, which is free, got offline. So if you have any questions or comments or, or need help finding these, these are all open source programs. I'm not using anything that you can't readily get for free. And it, it is open source and they are, they are free programs. And I would recommend that if you get the more advanced um, debut program, they do offer some really neat features and other programs to help you out and do much more creative things. But for the basic um, capturing program, it's free. Um, same thing with MS Paint and Paint.net, they're completely free. So without further ado, let's get on to the to the basic lessons within Paint. Now, you've already, if you haven't already covered the, the menu drop downs and things like that and how to open and close your Paint program, you can go into your start menu, your um, programs, your accessories. Paint is in there on the drop down menu. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please take notes and, and write down things as you're working on these projects or working on these videos because as you write these things down in your own words, you will be able to better frame a question and ask me a question online. I do encourage you to look and try and find the solutions yourself by watching the videos because I'm usually pretty thorough in what you can or can't do within, a, within the paint program or within the lessons we're covering. If there's something I missed or if there's something that you see that could be done differently, please, I do want to know. I do want to make these videos specifically to help you get more comfortable using Windows. Now let's go ahead and go without further ado here. Let's pop open this one. <coughs> I've opened the paint program and we're looking at this through a different program which is um, Picture Manager which is just a program I purchased in the Office Suite of programs for Microsoft Office. Um, anyway, not dwelling on that one. This is just a viewer program. It's There's um, MS 
MS Paint can view program or view pictures and so can some other programs for, that are included. Um, the preview feature on your on your um, Microsoft Office or Explorer will allow you to preview, which is basically another program within Paint. So don't worry about that. I'm just using this program to to pull up the presentation and make it easier. Um, this is Windows Vista and it does have the preview option. I'm just using this particular program because it gives me some flexibility to zoom in. Now let's cover the basic tools. All of your basic tools in the window that you're going to be using, some of these are able to lay paint on the canvas. The canvas is the white area inside of your paint window. That can be resized using your menu drop downs and we're going to specifically go through each of these today. Um, the freeform select and your selection tools are, are covered within the um, earlier lessons that I've done because copying and pasting is probably one of the primary tools you're going to use when you're using almost every program within the Windows environment. At some point you will copy and paste so it's absolutely vital that you learn to use these two tools both selecting with the Freeform Select and Freeform, freeform and your box selection tools rather um, and get comfortable with selecting things because selecting things within this program and other things are going to really come in handy and I will try and cover these um, in more detail later on but for now we're just going to cover these basic tools and I will go into each tool if you send me a request I will go through and I will cover exhaustively what each tool is capable of doing maybe in one video maybe in two or maybe even a few videos depending upon how deep I need to get into them. The eraser tool. It's got the ability to both erase what's on the canvas and you can also use it to change colors. Once you've laid paint onto the canvas you can use um, the right and left mouse buttons and your your palette down here at the bottom to actually modify or change a color from one to another. So once you've laid down a color say you don't like the shade you can go and change it. Um, your flood fill tool, this is kind of limited. It basically will, will color anything within an enclosed area or will cover the whole palette or canvas rather if you use that tool. Um, it's it's kind of limited but it is useful from from the standpoint of you don't have to sit there and try and color each and every pixel because anything with a with a matching color that isn't broken by a solid line will in fact be colored. You'll notice this when you go and try and color say an outline or a, a line line art. If you click on it it will change the whole thing. If it changes the whole thing inside and outside of your line drawing then you know there's a break in the line break in a line somewhere bleeding it through. Um, so a lot of people use that to find out if they do in fact have breaks in the lines um, when they're doing their sketching um, which is a handy tool to have because then you can go through and find out where the line break is and correct it. Your color picker, that's very good if you're using um, a custom palette um, and if you want to make a custom palette you can make it, lay it down on your actual canvas and it's easier to do it that way if you lay your paint colors on your canvas then you can use your eyedropper to pick the colors that you lay on the canvas and do your painting and then you can always go back and erase the color, pal the color palette you've laid on the canvas. Um, basically it's like having a, a painter's palette right on your canvas here which makes it quicker, easier and can give you a full range of colors within the within the coloring that you're doing. I found that's a lot quicker than going up into the drop down menus here for colors. Um, your pencil tool is good for sketching. Um, I would recommend, as a lot of painters out there would, um, don't sketch in black. Try and pick like a charcoal color or even a gray. Do your sketching in a red or blue or what have you. Pick a different color that way. When you go back in you can, you can firm up your, your drawings that way. Um, your brush tool has a wide variety of functions but primarily it just lays paint in a freeform style on the canvas. Um, anyway, this video is about ready to end so let's go ahead and finish this up.